Indonesia, a beautiful archipelago located on the equator, is situated between three active tectonic plates, two continents, and two oceans. This unique location makes Indonesia a maritime and agricultural country, rich in natural resources that provide prosperity for its people. But with this beauty comes a potential for disaster. With 198 stations managed by the Indonesian Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysical Agency, Indonesia is taking a significant step in disaster mitigation. The number of stations which is equivalent to the whole of Europe, with one woman leading the way. Her name is Professor Dwi Korita Karnawati, PhD, a scientist, educator, and leader in disaster risk reduction and management. For more than three decades, she's a force to be reckoned with. As a leading expert in geohydrometeorological disaster early warning system and also professor of multi-hazard early warning system, the growth of empathy for disaster early warning system has become a natural thing from within her heart. Since then, she has dedicated her career to studying and mitigating the impact of natural disasters and served as chair of Intergovernmental Coordination Group on Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning and Mitigation System. Her contribution to the field of hydrometeorological early warning systems is immense. Numerous research projects have been published extensively on topics such as landslide, earthquake risk reduction, and tsunami. Her invention in developing an early warning system has been implemented in the industry and has been granted intellectual property rights are as follows. Automatic ground displacement monitoring device and manual ground displacement monitoring device to support landslide early warning system, on surface landslide movement early detector with digital data recorder, ground tilt change detector to support landslide early warning system and subsurface landslide movement monitoring in ground crack. Her achievements are world class. She also played a significant role in developing the ISO, including ISO certification for guideline for the implementation of community-based early warning system for tsunamis and ISO certification for guideline for the implementation of community-based early warning system for landslide. As the head of the Indonesian Agency for Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics, she has also played a crucial role in developing policies and strategies to mitigate disasters in Indonesia. Her initiatives do not end there. She is dedicated to ensuring that human capacity for providing climate data and the development of climate early warning system a top priority. She will also ensure that cooperation in disaster early warning system with all parties, including local and international organizations, continues uninterrupted so that the government's safety program can have a greater chance of succeeding in the near future. Her international presence is evident as the Executive Council of the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and a member of the Steering Committee of the Global Ocean Observing System. Her candidacy for the President of the WMO will address the needs of the WMO members in the development of capacity, implementation of the Global Framework for Climate Services, further implementation of the WMO Integrated Global Observing System and the WMO Information System, as well as the action plan of the early warning for all to achieve the zero victims and enhance the welfare of the community. Making a significant difference in the lives of many and providing exceptional contributions to the multi-hazard early warning system and climate resilience. Her path has begun not just for Indonesia, but for the world, a safer place.